developing tonight. At least eight families lost their homes after a fire ripped through a mobile home park in Yuma. News 11 Samantha Bird was there live for at the scene last night and tonight as well. Yeah, she joins us back live with the aftermath of the fire and one heroic woman who made sure everyone got out alive. Sam. Jenny and Wiley, I'm here at Desert Palm Mobile Park off of 20th Avenue where the, these homes are destroyed by the fire that happened last night. One woman took a video of her helping rescue people from their homes and risking her own life. Leonora Gutierrez knocking door to door just moments after smelling something burning. A few minutes later, I smell it so like really, really thick. So that's when I looked up over here and I see the flames going up. So what I did, I just ran over here and started knocking on doors. Gutierrez took this video footage as she was helping evacuate everyone out of their homes. Another neighbor, Guillermo Medina, helped Gutierrez in her efforts. I just ran out and I still see people running out of their house, so I just came and helped them and told them to move their cars before the fire gets bigger because of the because of the wind. But one person I did, he was half asleep, like he was asleep, and we were knocking on the door, and he came when I wake up. So eventually he did, and we took him out, and then from there we went to houses, two neighbors to see if there was nobody in there. And thank God there was nobody else. The neighbors thankful for Gutierrez and Medina's efforts, along with the dozens of firefighters who sprung into action. My sister is, my sister house um, fire, got fire a little bit, but not much. It wasn't like um, totally lost. Coming together to be there for one another during a very difficult time. No injuries or deaths were reported, but one dog was rescued from an RV. Um, as you can see, this trailer is accepting donations of food, water, anything that can help these families who lost their homes and all their belongings. Reporting live in Yuma, Samantha Bird, News 11.